Hello, and we're live. How's everyone? How's everything? So by the time you see this, I would have been on my third day back to working. I figured we'd talk a little bit about that over some makeup or my current makeup routine. Makeup that I currently own and currently use and have been using for quite some time now. I don't think I've repurchased or purchased anything new within the last, well, with the exception of the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Bombs. I don't care. I will buy every single shade that comes out on launch day. So these Lip Butter Bombs are my go-to, but everything else, complexion, it's all old. I don't know if it's expired, but it's definitely old. <laughs> We're starting first with my fave Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion. 50 plus Synchro Shield, Wet Force, Heat Force, Turns Invincible, Broad Spectrum, SPF 50 plus for face body, water resistant, 80 minute sunscreen. It's what it says. That's what it says on the bottle. <laughs> and as always, Havila, my precious Havila in the background. I love how smooth and oh, it's just lovely. It is just lovely. You will love using sunscreen if you give this one a try. You see how that just disappeared? Oh my goodness. I love this stuff. I love it so much. So I'm going back to work, guys. I'm going back to the work field, nine to five, seven to four, actually. Havila is gonna start preschool. Now that whole subject of preschool and the public school system is one that I think I need to share my manao on or my, I don't know, my beliefs, my philosophy. I don't know. Yo, I'm, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. I love this stuff so much. Ah. Let's just jump right in with some lip balm because my lips are a little dry. So we're gonna go in with Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm in Brown Sugar. And I love it so much. I know it's darker for a lot of other folk, like lighter skin tone. It's the darkest shade that they have. Although I haven't tried their cherry shade yet. I saw it looks really nice. Oh, I love. Well, of course, a little Havila here. She'll be in and out maybe. Or you'll definitely hear her chit chatting in the background. She still has a runny nose. And she keeps slamming my phone on the counter. Please. I'm actually going back to my old job. I had a job uh, right before I had Havila. But then previous to that, and actually where my husband and I met, it's a preschool. It's a Hawaiian language preschool. Uh, but the program that I will actually be overseeing is the infant toddler program. So these are the babies from, I think, nine months to two and a half years old. And the whole program is Maka'ola Lo Hawaii. Everything is all in the Hawaiian language, which is pretty cool. Okay, we got that on. We got lip balm, sunscreen. Let's go browse. I have a really hard time talking and doing makeup at the same time. So I'm gonna try eyebrows next. I don't know. Oh no, maybe complexion. Okay, complexion. I got this sent to me by a makeup influencer. She wouldn't call herself that. She's a soon to be mom. She's married and she loves makeup and teaches it really well. And I've supported her over the years and she sent me this huge package of makeup and this was in that package of makeup. This is the Hollywood Contour Wand Easy Contour Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Fair Medium. So I'm gonna underpaint. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's been going around by a celebrity makeup artist who does celebrity makeup. And she basically does all of the base. She underpaints, so she does the contour and blush and highlighter and then goes over top with the foundation afterwards. So it's underpainting. I'm still practicing. I'm not very good at it, but I just kind of do what I know or what I think I know. I don't even know what I know. Okay. <laughs> da, da, da. So I do this first. Should I have gone in with a primer? Oh well, too late. And I'm gonna blend this out with an e.l.f. brush. I don't know if this shade is dark enough for me. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> so I uh, am, um, yeah, mixed feelings because I've absolutely loved being at home with Havala. And obviously it gives me a lot more time to do this, to shoot content. So things are going to shift, obviously, now that I have a seven to four. And so you could say right now I am batch content creating and I am sort of using you as a mirror. The plus thing though is I'm familiar with the program. I know what to do for the most part. Yeah, and this was the program that my husband and I met back in 2014. That was, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 that's not right. 2015, 
2016? Either way, that's more than five years. We didn't start dating until 2016, so maybe 2015 we officially met. Does that look good? Oh my gosh. Y'all are gonna see all the parts that I mess up or places that I don't blend well enough. Although I think I'm doing a pretty good job, hopefully. Okay, next is concealer. And this one was also sent in the package that Megan sent me. This is the Boing uh, Benefit Bright On Concealer. I really don't think these shades match me, <laughs> but I just use them because I can. And Megan is a lot, she's, I mean, she's not white, but she is fair. No, oh, she's white. She's wetter than I am. Before this, I used the NARS Creamy Concealer, and those were the only ones that I would ever use. I also have the Hourglass Concealer here that Megan recommended and that I do love, but it's real heavy. It's heavy in the sense that you only need a little bit. I guess I should say it's really pigmented, but I think the only proper way to use a high-end product like this is if you're doing a full face. I don't do full faces on a normal day-to-day -day basis. And so if I wanted to use this, it's in the shade Topaz and it has an orange red tone base. So it definitely helps with correcting the darkness under here. Okay, my designer bags, if you will. So I guess I can use it now, but I swear to you, you do not need this much product. I think this product will expire before you even hit halfway because you only need a little bit unless you have darkness just everywhere. So I'm just gonna, oh my gosh. I'm telling you, you do not need to go heavy handed with this. So that's why I, it's, it feels as if I just bought it because I rarely use it because it's so pigmented. I love this e.l.f. brush. I'm gonna flip it right over and use this skinnier end and just concentrate this in the area that I need it, which is right here. I try to avoid those creases that I have under my eye. They crease really quickly. I don't care what I do. I don't care how much moisture I put there. I don't care what primer. The book is, is gonna crease. And I've tried all the tricks in the book almost. And sometimes you just gotta deal with the fact that you are going to crease. <laughs> yeah, so it's not like I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm nervous about starting because it's a new field for me. Not at all. I'm very familiar. I'm familiar with all of my husband's coworkers. Yeah, my husband's already working there. He's been there for years already. And he was there when we first met. Although I worked on a different island at a different campus, uh, but how we would get together, if you will, is me or all of us. Actually, no, I would fly here and we would have yearly meetings every quarter or something like that. And that's the rest is history. And now the other thing to note is Havala will also be attending this preschool. Not on my side, of course, on my husband's side. So she's gonna be with Dario. How it works is the buildings are adjacent to one another. So this is his classroom area. And then I will be over here, not even a 20 second walk. And I'll be right there on the other side. I guess time will tell how I'll really feel about her starting preschool, but at least it'll be a part of a program that one, her father and I are both very familiar with. Two, we both work there and that's it. We're both just very familiar with the program. It's built on, or at least it was built on Christian values. Although over the years, there have been some change shift in command. But for the most part, I think they're sticking to Christian Bible, biblical morals, as far as I know. So we pray in the school to Jesus. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm lost now. I got my base on. What am I gonna do next? Foundation? All right, in here. Yeah, that's good. And a little bit down here, sure. It's a private school, obviously. No public school system is gonna put up with that. There's been a lot of controversy about prayer over the years and praying to Yesu or praying to Jesus. But as far as I know, at this campus, they still pray to Jesus. Okay, so I'm gonna choose between two thing thingamajigs. <laughs> I have the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint Light Coverage, or I have the big bambucha hair. Nice Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. This one I think is more my tone, I think, I don't know. This one seems a little bit neutral, kind of orangey on me. So I think I'm gonna go a little bit with this. I don't need much of this. Puke. And now you just put it everywhere where you didn't apply the other bases. And I'm gonna go in with a different brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Very good, I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna spot conceal with this foundation now because I'm gonna spot conceal with the foundation because I don't think these tones of concealers that I have are gonna work with the redness. 
just around my mouth area. Yeah. Yeah, so those are big pluses. Those are big bonuses going into this job. New but old. Old but new job. So far, so good. I could probably use more of that contour over here, but that's all right. Perfect. And it disappeared. I'm trying to keep the battery bar on my screen. I cannot. Yeah, mixed feelings because, well, I've been home since I've had Havana. So that was over three years now. And I can already hear y'all say, well, it's time. You got to get off your butt. You got to work. You got to do. Right, right, right. I get it. I get it. At the same time, I'm learning what biblical womanhood really is. And that's a pill I don't think a lot of y'all are ready to swallow or even consider swallowing because it'll change everything. It'll offend the heck out of you. Or maybe not. Maybe you could handle it way better than I am or I have. Okay, brows time. Kosas. Yeah, I'm not going to set anything yet because I don't usually set my cream and liquid products anymore. But I will after I do my brows. Well, first, actually, let me just go and absorb all of that product from my brows with a clean brush. So I'll just take a clean brush and absorb all that uh, oils there. Usually, I'll just go straight in with a mascara and be done with it. But I want to add a little bit more product because I bought this new Refi. <gasps> oh, this looks good. Refi, uh, it's a pencil. It's a brow pencil. You see that? It's thinner than my brow. My brows are thin. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more product using this pencil. But first, I'm going to go in with a clear brow gel just to kind of set the hair in place. And then I'm going to go in with this pencil and kind of fill in the gaps. Usually, I would just go in with a mascara, call it a day. And if I wanted a heavier brow or a darker brow, then I would go in with this pencil. But I want a little bit more concentrated product and placement. So I'm going to go in with the clear brow gel and then the pencil and not to the mascara at all. That was a mouthful. Sorry. <sighs> and what I'm learning. Okay, so just bear with me uh, as far as women's role in the family is to be solely at home. Being the homemaker and homeschooling your children. There was this whole debate with Jen Wilkin and this other guy who was supporting homeschooling and Jen Wilkin was actually on the position, supporting the position of public school. And Jen got a lot of backlash for it. And as I watched the debate myself, there was a lot of points that I had heard people had made against Jen that I actually agreed with. And I like her still. I mean, she teaches the word like nobody, no women I know. I just love the way she communicates, you know? I love how she communicates the Bible. So when I think about starting this new job and having a going to preschool and homeschooling and what biblical womanhood really is, first of all, I have a lot to work on, okay? I got a long ways to go. So I'm just in this weird in-between to really think about homeschooling my children. And that in and of itself is something that I am bracing myself for now because thankfully, like I said, she's going to be a part of the preschool that her father and I will both be working at. And so obviously she can only be at the preschool for three years minimum, I think. Two and a half, three years. So what's going to happen after that? Am I going to stop working? Is she going to be at home with me? Am I going to homeschool her? What happens if we have another baby? All the questions, okay? All the questions. Okay, I'm going to go and fill in my brows lightly. Hopefully I don't take this, I don't go crazy with this because usually when I start talking, I'm just going, 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 going. So all the questions, guys, I get it, I get it. But I think we're just going to have to deal with that when that day comes, when it does come, and just deal with it when it comes. Although my husband and I are already talking about it. I think we can definitely do it. I'm not in fear of the public school system. I'm more in fear of my husband and I's complacency to not be invested in my child's education should we choose the position of sending our children to public school. That's what I'm more afraid of. Where our kid is coming home with pornea uh, images in their school books or us being so passive enough to not even notice it at all. I don't even know what public school is like here on Oahu. I don't think it's that bad. But then again, I don't even know what bad is what is my definition of bad they're teaching children about sexuality in the third grade yeah that's pretty bad so perhaps i should start looking into it now i i don't know i don't know my husband and i have excuse me have definitely had the conversation okay so what's gonna happen two and a half three years bebe's paul preschool kindergarten is next are we gonna send her to a kindergarten public school what's gonna happen 
So it's definitely been in conversation. It has to be because time is going to fly. How do the brows look? Horrible. <laughs> and I even asked myself, Kapoor, are you even, what the heck is going on with this eyebrow? Oh my gosh. And I asked myself, Kapoor, are you really homeschool material? <laughs> you really think you can do this? And to that, I'll say I can be. I don't think there's anything that I can't do by the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. Thank you. How's that? Yeah, that's better. But the whole position of sending your kids to school to be the salt and the light. And I thought, well, you're gonna send your kid to be the salt and the light when they're what, in the second grade, the third grade? They're being indoctrinated. I don't care how much you want to say that your kid is being the salt and light in the school. But if your public school system is as great as you're saying that it is, then okay. Woo! Coming together. I have to extend my brow tail down because it's so short. I wasn't planning on talking about public school in this video, but it is what we are facing and what we will face once Havila finishes free school. Whether I'm ready for it, whether we as a family are ready for it, whether we have the material and the patience enough for it, but it's the tension that we live in is what I was saying with understanding that yeah, we can send, we are more than able, we are free to send our children to public school as long as the parents are involved and conscious and intentional with sending your child there. And to remember, if you're going to approach the public school system like Jen Wilkin, Jen Wilkin is someone who knows her Bible. I mean, she is, she knows sound doctrine. And so she can communicate it that way. And I'm sure I know her husband can too. And you can tell that they are very both intentional with their kids. And I think they were the reasons why their children weren't indoctrinated so much so by the public school system. But in her debate, she talks highly about her district, her school district. Well, what's, where is your school district? A lot of school districts are not like this. And that's a lot of commitment. You know, that's a lot of intentionality going into sending your children to public school. At the same time, like I said, back to living in tension, that point where the Bible, what the Bible says about education, what the Bible says about the family unit. I just think women are itching to find themselves purpose in employment or running a business because they have something to prove. And I'm talking about women who are in the world, not Christian, okay? This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow. All right, eyeshadow time. This is so old already. This is what, 12 months? Oh my gosh. If I put this on my eye, am I getting infected? You know why. This is over 10 years old, I think. Oh, but it's so gorgeous. Let's do maybe like a halo eye. Oof, girl. Like I said, if my eye gets infected, you know why. <laughs> Girl, I haven't done eyeshadow like this in a minute. Yeah, I think women are in the workforce because they have something to prove because women can do it all. Women can do everything that man can. I guess so long as you don't think like that and that isn't your intentions to be in the workforce, then fine. I mean, some of you literally have to work because you're a single parent or I don't know, you just can't make it living off of one income. Well, husbands, you gotta get another job. I don't know. Oof, how does it look so far? Oh, so far so good. And so long as you are intentional with your children being in public school, fine, I don't care. God bless you. I would just caution and keep your eye out for where your public school, your, the district that you're in, what direction they're heading with their curriculums and the material that they're sending your kids home with. I think that's something for both mama and daddy to be aware of. So all that to say, yeah, that's, <laughs> it's something we definitely are praying about now and seeking God for now. Cause like I said, that time is gonna fly on by. I hope I didn't offend anyone with my rant on women being at home. I just think I've always known women to have to work and to do the hard work and to do the part of the man. And so now looking at it now, being married and having a husband or a male headship form in my life now as the father of my child and as the head of our household, I gotta shift some things around. I gotta rethink this stuff through because I would have, I don't know. I think if it wasn't for Havila, I would have definitely been in the workforce, obviously, because we don't have children and I'm what, just gonna be at home twiddling my thumbs. But it changed everything, of course, when I had a child because uh, we weren't gonna pay someone to watch her. 
And thankfully, we have gone paying mortgages and utility bills on one income for over two years. That's something to give God glory for, I think, you guys. So obviously, going back to work, with me going back to work, we'll have extra income. But even with that, we're already making a game plan for what that's all going to look like. Especially for me. Especially for me. Look at me doing a full-on smoky eye. As if I'm not just going to stay home. I don't care. MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid right in the center. And I'm going to go over it with Angel's Kiss, I think this shadow is called. Oh, just a kiss. I just love putting it right there and then looking up. Yeah, and it leaves a little bit of... Oh, I love that. Okay, just a kiss going on top. Oof. Love. Love. I don't even know what we were talking about uh, anymore. Oh, I think I said I apologize if I offended anybody. I'm still working through this stuff. I'm still trying to process it through if y'all have any thoughts. If you guys think I'm wrong or way off and you're girl bossing it and your kids are good, then great. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> Praise God. Like I said, we're just going to have to face that and deal with that when that comes. I think I'm just going to curl the lashes and call it a day. I was going to put falsies on, but I'm like, meh. Oh, I don't have that curved rubber thing for my lash curler. What the heck? Hello? Love that. I'm going to put some Giga Black on my bottom lashes too. I don't usually put on my bottom lashes because when I do, it's immediately raccoon eyes. See? Or does it look okay? I was thinking too, oh my goodness, how is it going to be with my husband and I working together too and then at home together too? <laughs> I think we'll be okay. And I love that Havala will be right there with us. So I'm, I'm hoping for the best. <sighs> love. All right, I had to sit up little girl. She's gonna take a nap pretty soon. Okay, for blush, Rare Beauty Nearly Mauve. Melting, melting blush. Yes, beautiful, mauve. <laughs> take some. And I go a little higher up on my cheekbone towards the back and then I blend it forward. I need a mirror, honey. Maybe I can do it from here. Yes, sweetie. Oh my goodness. So everything looks seamless. Oh, and of course, of course, we have to use this highlighter from Rare Beauty. Although I'm going to be careful with this because it can, uh, it sets really fast. I'm gonna use it on the back of my hand. Hit it with the high point. I can't, can't see my high point from there. So I wanna trust that you're helping me put it on. <laughs> well, this side I can see, of course. Oh, that's stunning. That's stunning. And you know what? I'm going to take a little bit, whatever's left in my hand, and I'm going to pop it right under that brow bone. I actually could put more. Yeah, I got to put more. Just a little bit more. Honestly, now that we're talking about it, though, I think I've been more worried about how content creating is going to be for me now that I'm starting back up my 7 to 4. And that's always usually the case. It always takes the back burner because I obviously have a job and I'm doing that eight hours in a day. And I think more than anything, that's the part that kind of, I'm kind of mm, about. Cause I love this stuff and I love y'all. Lip liner, last steps is uh, Precision Lip Crayon Oshi Single by Patrick Ta. I love this lip liner during the fall. Does this lip match? Mm, it looks so orangey on me. All right, Makeup Forever to the rescue. Where are you at, girl? Endless Cacao, Makeup Forever. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Going with the Summer Fridays. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wee! In the mud. Is that it? Are my eyes twinkling enough? <laughs> I'll always add more sparklies to my eyes because I can never have enough sparklies. I gotta make my YouTube video public ASAP because it's quarter to three. But I think that is the final makeup look, you guys. What do we think? I think I still got it. <laughs> I didn't realize both of my drinks are green shades. And you know what? Yeah. Today, when you see this, I'll probably post it while I'm at work. So what is this gonna be, April 5th when you see this? Lots of life updates, y'all, lots of processing. I think I pretty much caught you up with everything. I, I really don't know. Hope you like the makeup look too. Great for me while I'm back working. Hopefully my content creating doesn't tank because I'm working now. 
and I just hope that I can balance working and content creating and also fueling my love for the Bible and theology. Girl, get that blanket out of the kitchen. Get out of there. I gotta go. I'm gonna keep going on and on. Keep me in prayer. I'll see you on my next video.